So, the ray gun has been a staple in Call of Duty Zombies since its conception in World at War, and I would say that it's the most recognizable weapon out of the entire franchise, and the ray gun has evolved a lot throughout the years, and it's went through many iterations of itself, being effective in some games and not so effective in other ones because of how the games were designed. And so today, we're going to be taking a look at every single ray gun in Call of Duty Zombies history and ranking them from worst to best. It's going to be a little bit of a trip down memory lane, and we're going to take a look at every previous Treyarch title, analyze the ray gun, and really discover what made it so effective in previous games, and maybe not so much in other ones, and it's going to be a little bit of nostalgia today. Before we dive too deep in this video, I'm going to set you guys a light goal of 2,000 thumbs up since you all have been up to the challenge, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe if you're not already, because we are getting insanely close to 400,000, and the support has been unreal, and if you would like this style of video enough, then perhaps we'll take another weapon and we'll dive deep into its history and really explore that as well and discover the evolution of it but let me know what you think about this video down below in the comment section after you've watched it but with that all being said ladies and gentlemen let's rank every single ray gun in call of duty zombies from worst to best so coming in today at our worst spot for the ray gun should be no surprise to anybody that's played every zombies game this has to be the ray gun from black ops 3 and for those of you who have never played this game you might be wondering what makes this ray gun the worst on the list well it's not exactly that there's anything inherently wrong with the ray gun on black ops 3 it's more or less the way that the overall game surrounding it was designed the problem was virtually every gun in the game in black ops 3 could be upgraded with an alternate ammo type and be just as good if not better than the ray gun and especially in high rounds where the ray guns damage would fall off the alternate ammo types would not so there was essentially no reason to hold on to this anywhere past round 20. another issue was that black ops 3's design philosophy had different wonder weapons in each individual map that were so unique and incredibly powerful that they would outshine the ray gun in pretty much every circumstance ever it got to a point where the ray gun was really no longer considered a wonder weapon to most players and because everything else in the game was just far more powerful in pretty much every category there was no longer this feeling of excitement or hype that you would get when you spin the mystery box and you happen to pull a lucky ray gun it was almost disappointing when you would get the ray gun from the box and like that definitely shouldn't be the feeling when pulling a technical wonder weapon it did have its uses and again the ray gun technically wasn't bad in black ops 3 and for one reason or another it just lost all of its charm and magic that it had in previous games and in black ops 3 was probably one of the most ignored weapons of all time what it ultimately came down to was everything else in the game was just so much more viable and powerful and sustainable that the ray gun didn't really have a spot in the meta at all so the ray gun easily has to be the worst version we've ever seen in zombies being a bad weapon by the ray gun standards is still pretty good but is certainly the lowest tier of all the ray guns we've ever seen but moving on next we have the ray gun from world at war and really this is where it all started and world at war is where the ray gun became came iconic and was the most recognizable weapon in zombies the main reason for the ray gun becoming the most recognizable and iconic weapon in the game world at war featured tons of like world war ii weapons and just you know very old 20th century what are now considered archaic bullet guns and you know trying to fend off zombies against that but every so often you would get extremely lucky and pull a ray gun from the box this fantastical science built unexplainable weapon that at the time nobody really knew where it came from or why it was in zombies and why it was so different to every other weapon of choice but we knew we loved it and it was quite literally one of the best guns in the game one of the problems with the world at war ray gun was it had an incredible amount of splash damage and there was absolutely no way to protect yourself against the damage that it would output to you the ray gun was one of the first weapons in zombies ever that we really couldn't treat like a standard bullet weapon or like you know use it as a regular gun it had to be treated in its own way but when you use it effectively Effectively, you would get to insane high rounds and you would brag about to your friends about what round you'd make it to with the ray gun and if you happen to get both the ray gun and if you were playing Doris the wonder Waff in a public match then you were considered an absolute god there was pretty much nothing more satisfying than pulling the ray gun out of the box on world at war because you knew this was your best bet to survive into high rounds however and whatever strategy you might be using it was so easy for the ray gun to stand out and just become super recognizable in the game that it started in because at the time there was truly nothing else like it or really nothing that even came close 
While I don't think it's objectively the best version of the ray gun we've ever seen, it definitely deserves, like, a, at least a, a side spot that is, this is where it started, you know? It has to have some kind of honorable mention for that. But coming up next on our list is going to be the ray gun from Black Ops 4. Now, oddly enough, this ray gun was one of the better ones we've seen in Zombies, but I don't think it got enough credit for how much better this ray gun was compared to something like Black Ops 3. It did still suffer from some of the same issues that plagued the ray gun in BO3. However, it did overcome quite a few of them. Now, the main problem with the ray gun in Black Ops 4, however, was this game had a very strange pack-a-punch system where you would essentially need to upgrade four separate times to achieve the maximum amount of damage that you would have per weapon, essentially being the replacement for double tap. But the ray gun was a kind of strange anomaly in this where it could not be upgraded more than once. You would upgrade the ray gun for 5,000 as you would, and you would get a pretty decent damage boost on it. But you couldn't upgrade it any more like you would a regular bullet weapon, and whether it was all in our heads or not, it definitely felt like the ray gun was weaker than it otherwise could have been, but because there was no, like, infinite damage alternate ammo types really in Black Ops 4, and they were significantly nerfed compared to where they were in BO3, the ray gun definitely had more of a chance to shine as it did in previous games, and there were still some wonder weapons and cases where it was just simply not very good or viable to run, but in most cases, the ray gun wasn't terrible to get in Black Ops 4, and there was like a moderate amount of excitement that you would get when seeing this spin in the mystery box. Another great aspect to this ray gun, it didn't have very much splash damage at all, and in fact, there were perks that would completely negate even the minimal amount of splash damage that you would receive while using the ray gun, so you could knock that out entirely. However, the biggest problem with Black Ops 4's ray gun is really no fault of its own, but is more or less an overall design flaw in BO4 as a game. The specialist weapons that you would spawn in with were by far the best weapons to use, period. And you would spawn in with them, meaning there's no like quest to go and obtain them or you don't even get them from the box. You spawn in on round one with these, and they are just miles better than anything you're gonna pull from the box and for that matter the ray gun as well so there was again really not much point for this being the best gun or one of the most special weapons in the game i honestly think right now if it hadn't been for spawning in with specialist weapons or if they were not in the game entirely the ray gun would probably be back to its former glory in bo4 it would certainly be one of the most sought after weapons in this game but as we have already been through this this game's life cycle it clearly didn't get there but even so with all that in mind it still was not a bad ray gun at all. Now, moving on next, we have the ray gun from Black Ops 2. Now, this one is a particularly interesting case because the Black Ops 2 ray gun was like the last version before Treyarch really started dabbling in very unique wonder weapons that would ultimately outshine the ray gun in Black Ops 3. This was still a diamond in the rough, though. Many of the regular bullet guns in Black Ops 2 would fall off and damage severely, and there was no other way to make them more powerful into the higher rounds with alternate ammo types or anything. You would pack a punch and basically get a different attachment and while you could only upgrade the ray gun one time as well it definitely was the go-to as far as high rounds and just generally being a great weapon anything on transit or on town or nuketown these early black ops 2 maps is really where the ray gun shined in this game and as the season went on and we had the release of maps like mob of the dead buried in origins and the wonder weapons on those maps were absolutely insane and definitely were better than the ray gun but at the same time it still had its place in the meta and you would usually use one of the wonder weapons from that map like let's say the blundergat or one of these staffs on origins plus a ray gun as your secondary the ray gun in black ops 2 was incredibly reliable and a lot of zombie players started on this game and this was their first experience with the ray gun and i gotta say they probably weren't let down at all definitely one of the better versions of the ray gun we have seen in call of duty history but i don't think it's quite as good as the ray gun that was featured in black ops 1 now, the ray gun in BO1 is special for a lot of reasons, but I think one of the most important ones to focus in on was it just felt like a better version of the one we saw in World at War. A lot of the games that came after Black Ops 1, the ray gun felt like it had a few downsides that it, you know, sacrificed or lost as the games went on, and it was still good, but maybe, it, you know, it definitely wasn't as special. In Black Ops 1, it felt like you were getting the World at War ray gun, but just a straight
straight up better version of it. And I think a lot of you guys who have played both these games will know what I mean. Another key factor in making the ray gun amazing in Black Ops 1 was the introduction of a perk we all know as PhD Flopper. And this was absolutely ground shattering at the time because this perk along with the ray gun would allow you to survive circumstances that you couldn't get out of really with any other weapon in the game, maybe besides the thunder gun. With this perk and this weapon combo, you could shoot the ground and utilize the splash damage feature and not take any damage to yourself whatsoever, but killing the zombies in the process. So you could get out of other like really dicey situations that any other player with a weapon would have died in. And that's all thanks to the absolutely unstoppable weapon and perk combination. It's one of the most sought after things in Black Ops 1. And again, very similar to World at War, if you had a ray gun in a public match in Black Ops 1, along with maybe the uh, map specific wonder weapon, you were literally an absolute god. Ask me a couple months ago before Cold War came out, and I would have told you the Black Ops 1 ray gun was the best one we had ever seen. And another reason for that was just there was not much to compare it to, right? There wasn't a whole lot of other features or weapons in BO1 that could even come close to what the ray gun was capable of. But that brings us to our final ray gun today and catching up to the times in Black Ops Cold War. This takes us to our final ray gun on the list. In current day, Black Ops Cold War has the best ray gun we have ever seen to date. And that's pretty impressive considering the fact that they managed to balance other actual bullet weapons, a couple wonder weapons in the map, and a ray gun. And yet the ray gun is still far and away the best weapon to use in the game even right now. And what's interesting as well is with Black Ops 4, the specialist weapons completely negated the use of the ray gun, whereas the specialist abilities in Cold War just enhance the ray gun. They don't replace it at all. And I think that's another reason it's just become so dominant. The Ring of Fire field upgrade will completely enhance the ray gun's damage and make it so you don't have to reload while the entire duration of the ability is going. And it absolutely deletes regular enemies as well as boss zombies. So I don't think anyone would argue right now that the Black Ops Cold War ray gun is not the best that we have ever seen in zombies history so far. It's hard to say if it's going to retain that title throughout the entire life cycle of this game as we still have plenty more maps to get and they're all going to have their unique set of weapons and wonder weapons to come so right now the ray gun is the most dominant comparatively to the other games as well it has to be the best on this list but let me know what you guys think in the comment section is the cold war ray gun the best we have seen so far and which ray gun out of every game is your personal favorite i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video remember to give it a like rating subscribe if you are new to the channel as well before you go and i do stream zombies almost every single day over on twitch if you don't already follow over there i highly encourage it link is in the description below i'd love to for you to come up and say hi but anyways hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i gotta go i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys